Hi, and welcome to the Haven't Myself Downs virtual open evening. Um, what I'm hoping to do here is just to give you a bit of an insight into the animal unit and roughly what goes on in there on a day to day basis. And then I will go through the four sort of different courses that we offer as our part of our provision. So, I mean, I started just by taking a bit of a photo of a poster that stands just outside the animal unit. And um, it talks a little bit about careers and shows some of our former students. But in the next slide, I'll take you into the animal unit and we'll have a little look around. So this first room here is our rodent room. There's some eggs from our chickens just on top of the fridge there. So there's a whole host of different rodents that live in this room. So rats and mice, chinchillas, hamsters, gerbils, and a few more sort of exotic species as well. So I'll just pan around and just show you. There's a little bit of movement going on here and there, but they were particularly quiet when I was in there. And I'll just take you around to the exotics room. where we've got snakes and lizards and quite a number of different species of insects and spiders. Some tropical fish. We've got a royal python. Just kind of, you can just about see him in the bottom of the shot there. And some African land snails. There's a bearded dragon, which I think I've got another picture of in a moment. And the amphibians are on the far wall there. And we've got a milk snake at the top and corn snakes. And we've got the students' favourites here, we've got some tarantulas. Okay, and I've just taken a short video just to show you some of the outdoor provision we've got. So these are mainly rabbits and there's some guinea pigs. Actually, I don't show the guinea pigs in this particular video. But obviously the students uh, know these rabbits very well as individuals by name. Most of them are much loved. And the students, obviously, they have to look after this, after these animals as part of their course. So feeding them and grooming them, etc. Okay. And we've got our bearded dragon here. Just thought it was quite a nice shot of him. And the students love handling uh, the beardies. And the next shot, I've got one of our lecturers who are asked to give us a bit of a um, a bit of a show and uh, I got more than I bargained for actually because she gave me a little dance to start with <laughs> I think I said I'd edit, edit it out but um well my, perhaps I didn't so she's doing a bit of handing here of the tortoises and there's a student who takes one and Rachel always says hold them a bit like a hamburger okay and we've got a leopard gecko here, part of the same session. Students love handling these beautiful animals. And uh, here we've got a little hog nose snake. So this is um, this is Tony, our animal care technician. And uh, just a couple of posters that's outside, which I thought I'd focus on because it talks a little bit about the careers. So things like um, army dog handler, wildlife rescue assistant, dog groomer, horse riding instructor, kennel and cattery assistant. So that's a few of them. And also things like RSPCA inspector and dog trainer or handler, canine hydrotherapy and countryside ranger. And I have to say, you know, on a personal note, I can't go anywhere without uh, any local vets without seeing a, a former student. So um, I'm just going to pop along to the next picture. We've got some white tree frogs and we've got some of our chickens and just a few students giving me a bit of a wave there, all obviously socially distancing and wearing masks. Hi, and what I'd like to do now is run through the four courses that we offer in the animal care area. 
So the first course we offer is a level one in land-based studies, which is a sitting guilds diploma. This is a one year course designed for students that have achieved primarily grade twos in their GCSEs. Um, it's definitely the most practical of, of the courses that we offer. Great emphasis on handling, feeding and husbandry of a wide range of different species. And hopefully you've seen the other video showing uh, the animals in the animal unit. Students will also improve their literacy and numeracy in separate maths and English classes. And they'll have to complete the following units in order to gain the level one qualification, feeding and accommodation, health and safety, small animal care, han animal handling, and there's some work placement that students will be asked to complete as well. And we'll help them get those placements. Assessment will be completed with a mixture of coursework exam and practical assessments. Many students complete a level one as a stepping stone effectively to go on to the level two which I'll just run through quickly below. So the level two once again sitting the guilds qualification it's a technical certificate in animal care. It's a one-year course that is designed for students that have achieved a grade three in the majority of their GCSEs. It's a definite step up academically from level one um, with some of the units having a higher science content. Students will also improve their literacy and numeracy skills if they haven't managed to achieve their grade four in maths and English at school. Um, and the following units will have to be completed. Health and welfare, feeding and accommodation, behavior and handling, industry, health and safety, biology, exotics, and there is a horse care unit as well which is integrated within the course. And once again, assessment will take place using a similar variety of assessment techniques as discussed above, um, including practical assessments, coursework and exams. Many students use the course really as a means of progressing onto the level three quite often, um, which I'll just run through. And the level three is an advanced technical extended diploma in animal management. And there's kind of two pathways. There's a sort of, there's a more sciencey pathway, which I'll run through first, and then a slightly abbreviated form, format, which I'll go through below. So uh, both level threes are two year courses designed for students that have achieved grade fours in most of their GCSEs, including English, maths, and science. It's our most academically challenging offering with the highest number of really quite science-based units and progression typically leads into higher education or employment and students have to complete the following elements health and safety work experience health and husbandry feeding and nutrition behavior and communication biology welfare and breed development as it's actually called in full there's this synoptic assignment which kind of um, ties together a lot of the units and the students have to complete a project there is a work placement element, fundamentals of science, science investigation and report writing, and an exotics unit. There is also a slightly abbreviated version of the level three. It's got very similar units. I won't run through those again. Again, um, The reason it's, we've decided to run this is because it allows students that have done well in their GCSEs, but perhaps didn't get their grade four in uh, maths, so effectively they would have to have to run the maths alongside this slightly smaller qualification um, on either of the level three students will have to complete 150 hours of work placement um, and students on the level threes won't get certificated until the end of their second year they've got to complete the whole two-year course first um, hopefully that gives you just a brief introduction to the units that we offer and if you need any further um, information, please don't hesit hesitate to contact us and we're based on the, the Haven and South Downs um, area. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Bye.